I work with this group called the Heartland Alliance, which is a nonprofit that works on um, all kinds of policy regarding either um, incarceration, housing, or poverty work, uh, particularly in, in Illinois, but also does a lot of stuff abroad just throughout the U.S. And so the specific bill I worked on was House Bill 3332. Um, this bill was designed re really to help um, formerly incarcerated individuals find housing. So one of the main issues just across the U.S. is you have a lot of people who are coming out of incarceration as the U.S. has um, is one of the nations with the, the most amount of incarceration. Um, incarcerated people, but they come out of incarceration and just really cannot find jobs. And so there's kind of a, um, you know, the whole analogy with the chicken and the egg, which came first. Um, a lot of times they have the issue of finding work because they can't find housing. So, right, so if you can't, you don't have, if you don't have a house to live in, right, you're going to have a hard time um, being able to sleep at night, being able to just kind of have the bare necessities of life. And in addition to that, to have a job, that's even harder. That's another additional problem that you have to work with. Um, what I did, I did a lot of coalition building, which was, which was essentially um, kind of meeting with individuals who were formerly incarcerated, who were formerly homeless, or who were in poverty at that very moment, to talk to with them and work with them on what really their lives are and what would actually help them. Whenever you're kind of creating a rule or a bill or a law regarding anything about someone's life, um, you want to get that actual input from someone who's actually been in that scenario. So I've learned that not only is law slow, but a lot of times it is devoid of the idea that like, we should actually get someone's input who has actually been in that scenario. If you really want to work in that area, you have to be passionate about it because it is slow, right? So you're not going to get those immediate results you might see um, working in another industry where it's like you directly see the impacts of what you're doing like the day, the week afterward. Like I worked on something during the summer like of May through June and really August and I do not know or will ever see the, I don't know if I'll ever see the, see the resu results before I even graduate, right? Like those, those results will be far gone, will, will come far after I've graduated. And so it's really about how passionate you are about the industry that really keeps people going.